What's happening guys, we've got a really interesting interview to discuss today, where the producer of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Evie Everett, this is some really interesting details. But first, if you want to watch the full Comic Con panel, including the intro and everything, check out the link in the description box. The panel is divided into a few parts, and I'm sure you'll have good time watching those. As for Evie Everett, just recently he had an interview with I Am Rogue. The interview lasts for about 9 minutes, so I'm going to point out some really interesting details and later on you can check the interview yourself, I'll post the link by the end of the video. Now first, the interviewer asked whether the post-credit scene from The Amazing Spider-Man 1 with Man in the Shadows will be explained in future films. Unfortunately, Evi dodged this question by saying, let me mimic his accent, I cannot tell you. Well, that's a pity. But I do have my own theory as to what character Michael Massey might be playing, so if you are curious, check out this video. During the interview, Evie admired Chris Cooper's work by praising his acting abilities. He also explained how Chris managed to get the part. Now, here's the cool part. Evie mentioned that they wanted Chris Cooper to play Norman Osborn many, many years ago, but due to some personal life issues, he wasn't able to join the cast. Presumably, Evi talks about Spider-Man 1. Now that's a surprise, isn't it? Evi was also asked regarding Felicity Jones' comments where she mentioned that she is Green Goblin's girlfriend. Evi explained that Felicity's character likes Harry Osborn and that she cares for him. Wait a second. He hasn't denied the fact that she is Green Goblin's girlfriend and he even added that she likes Harry and she cares for him? doesn't mean that Harry will be the real goblin after all, despite the fact that Mark Webb said the opposite thing. That's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Evie also added that Harry is interested in models. Talking about Mary Jane, Evie explained the reason as to why they decided to cut her part, by saying that there was just too much story. Now we've already heard this, but he also added that they still haven't decided as to when to introduce Mary Jane in future storylines whether in The Amazing Spider-Man 3 or 4. And here's a million dollar question. The interviewer asked Evi whether we'll see Green Goblin in the sequel or in future. I will definitely see in the future. How about that? Personally, I think we'll see Goblin in the post credit scene for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And Evi Everett simply lied to us in order to keep the scene a surprise. And finally, the interviewer asked whether we'll see the flashback scenes of Uncle Ben and Captain Stacy, to what Evie replied that they haven't decided yet. They might include these scenes or they might not. Check out the full interview, it's quite informative. And until the next time, I'm off for now.